Welcome to the video tutorials of the book Methods, Evaluation and Research in Education by Muhammad Akhtaruzzaman and today we are going to learn how to calculate descriptive statistics in Microsoft Excel and it contains two parts. Part 1 is Calculation of Descriptive Statistics for Raw Data in MS Excel Part 2 is Calculation of Descriptive Statistics for Group Data in MS Excel with some colorful charts. Let's start with part 1. Microsoft Excel has made the statistics extremely easy by providing a large number of built-in functions. Some of the most widely used statistical functions are average, corel, count, covar, frequency, cut, max, mean, median, mood, Pearson, percentile, percent rank, quartile, rank, skew, estidiff, far, and many more. For example, if you want to calculate standard deviation manually, it will take much time and energy, whereas using Microsoft Excel functions, you can do this within a few seconds. In this part of the tutorial, we will discuss first how to calculate descriptive statistics for raw data in MS Excel and then also using the same data in SPSS to justify the result. Let's see how it can be done. Suppose the scores of a test for 50 students are kept in a file Descriptive Statistics in MS Excel of type Microsoft Excel 2007. Open this Excel file from the data file. Look at the scores at the screen. At the MS Excel editor, the score is in cell A1. First score 62 is in A2 cell and so on. The last score 48 is in A51 cell as there are 50 students. We want to calculate the descriptive statistics like the mean, median, mood, standard deviation, skewness, ketosis, minimum, maximum and the 58th percentile. Now to calculate the mean, put the equal sign and write average a2 is to A51 and I'll press enter. For median, write median, then A2 is to A51, I'll press enter. For mood, write mood, A2 is to A51, press enter. For standard deviation, write STDEV, A2 is to A51, now press enter. For skewness, write skew. A2 is to A51, press enter. For kurtosis, write cut. A2 is to A51, press enter. For minimum, write mean. A2 is to A51, press enter. For maximum, write max. A2 is to A51. And finally, for the 50th percentile, which is in fact the second quartile, write percentile. Then A2 is to A51, comma, 0 0.5. Now press enter. Really, the descriptive statistics in MS Excel is more than easy. Only thing you have to do is just use the built-in functions. You may get the details of each function by simply clicking the function which appears automatically just below the function box at the time you write the formula for a particular cell. Similarly, for calculating percentile rank of 44, the formula is percent rank array, comma, x, comma, significance, where the array is A2 is to A51, x is 44, and the significance means the number of digits after the decimal point. So, the formula stands percent rank, right, percent rank, then a2 is to A51, comma, 44, comma, 2. Now press enter. That's done. Do not forget to start the formula with equal sign and press enter at the end. However, you can do all these descriptive statistics in SPSS using the following steps. Open the file Descriptive Statistics in SPSS of Type, SAV in the SPSS data editor. Now, 
go to the analyze menu then descriptive statistics then frequencies take the score of the test in the variables field at this point click the statistics button and select the mean median mode standard deviation skewness kurtosis minimum maximum and the 50th percentile click continue and then ok see the output at the screen the mean is 44.62 median 44.00 mood 42 standard deviation 9.953 skewness 0 0.079 kurtosis minus 0 0.060 minimum 21 maximum 68 and the 50th percentile is 44.00 so we have seen the calculation of descriptive statistics for raw data in MS Excel and then also using the same data in SPSS to justify the result it's really very easy however in the second part of this tutorial we will see the calculation of descriptive statistics for group data in Microsoft Excel with some colorful charts and also the conversion of raw data into group data using SPSS. Thank you for staying with us. It's Yastani saying you goodbye.